Hello all. Now we are discussing about IDS IPS feature of Securite Endpoint Security. IDS IPS Intrusion Detection System or Intrusion Prevention System. In this context, we have to know about what is intrusion. When an attacker or a hacker tries to make a way into your system, and then it is known as intrusion. Intrusion detection system or intrusion prevention system can detect such intrusions. The word network is used for the system because it keeps an eye on packets on a network wire and its main objective is to find out whether a cracker or a hacker is breaking into your system. It analyzes the traffic on your network to monitor signs of different malicious activity. That's all about IDS IPS feature. Now let's see the configuration of the same. For that, let's open our endpoint security console and uh, by providing the password into that we can just log into it once we log in we can see the settings option here if you click on settings you can find ids ipa setting from here please note whatever changes you are making in this setting is going to impact on the default policy so the clients which are following this default policy setting would get these changes impacted so in IDS IPS, from here, we can enable this particular setting, enable IDS IPS. And there is an option we provided to detect port scanning attack. And it is a customizable setting. From here, you can uh, click on customize and you can see the options provided. There are four levels provided to set the port scanning attack detected. And that is the starting one, the soft uh, level. It detects attacks in case of many ports scan in normal mode, uh, in case of multiple ports scan in strict mode. If a single port is scanned, it will detect it. And if you are setting it to custom, you can set the timing and you can set the number for the scan port. So if it meets the condition, it will detect it. Then if you want to add some sort of IP addresses to exclude, that can be added over here. And in the same way, you can exclude ports as well. Just click on add and add the port number, then click on OK to save the setting. So this is how we customize uh, the setting for port scanning attack. In the same way, for distributed denial of service attack, we can customize the settings from here. Uh, there are again four levels, and you can exclude IP address and port number from the setting option. Then apart from this option, we have some other actions uh, can be performed uh, with IDS IPS setting. Uh, one is block attacker IP for two minutes in case of any attacks detected. Then disconnect endpoint from the network. In case of any DDoS or port scanning, you can disconnect that particular endpoint from the network and we can avoid further uh, attacks into the remaining uh, client machines. Then we can display alert messages when the attack is detected by enabling this option. These are the configuration settings available with IDS IPS feature. So hope it is clear for everyone. Thanks for watching this video.